This morning, the crew are attending a serious sounding incident eight miles south of Glasgow. A road traffic accident. Just ahead. Well, the a van has apparently left the road and uh, careered through the barrier. And now it's either at railway tracks, uh, also said it's near water. So uh, it does sound quite a nasty incident. Could be a, a difficult extrication. And that's where obviously uh, where we come in. It's the height of summer and the rain is pouring down. Put the blower on the windscreen for me, Stevie, would you please? Roger, Roger. Thank you. Uh, it's a bit drizzly, smelly rain this morning, I don't like it. When I come in and do my brief for the team, we discuss the weather conditions to see what we're, could be expected that day, whether it be rain, wind, snow, because obviously a lot of the incidents we go to are very challenging and the weather can have a, a dramatic impact on those incidents that we attend. Another wee bump over there. Oh, oh, we shun. So when the information came in that a van had left the road and had overturned and went down 75 foot drop or whatever it was into water. I was concerned and obviously I passed the concerns over to the team and I think on that particular day the whole team attended, which doesn't always happen with instance. Although the number of road traffic accidents in Scotland is falling, latest figures still show over 1,500 people a year suffered a serious injury on the road. You have reached your destination. Well, uh, not really. There's a long this road somewhere. It's long here, aye. Hopefully we'll get eyes on. Only sir. They had cordoned off the road. I believe the fire service were just arriving on scene at the time. Couldn't really see much until we got out the vehicle. It was then you could see that a car had hit the barrier and it was down the embankment. And I believe the car, if I remember right, was, was lying on its roof inside some form of viaduct with running water inside it as well. The van has come to rest just metres from a busy train track. It's a good distance she's, she's went down there. Obviously, when you see a van lying down an embankment on its roof, then, yeah, things go through your head that this has got to be a kind of serious accident. Our colleagues who were in the fast response vehicle for sort, they were on scene moments before us. They'd already made their way down to the patient and because the way the vehicle was situated, they couldn't get the patient out of the vehicle. It's a sort of step ladder that we use and we utilised that that day to, to get the patient out. When we get to a scene, we like to kind of a, do a global overview of the scene and just work out in our heads exactly what's happened. Because from that, we can then determine exactly what kind of injuries that this patient could have due to the incident. What was happened here is, uh, obviously, you can see with the, the conditions, the road's been a bit slippy, but the, the young female has had a puncture. Our vehicle has come through the barrier left the road and tumbled down the bank in here. I was about 30 or 40 feet. I mean, I was expecting quite a severely injured patient that day. Incredibly, the driver has walked away from this crash unscathed. She told us right away what had happened. She had experienced a puncture. So we know then she's not had a seizure or blacked out at the wheel. I think she was, she was very lucky. If it had been a few days later, with the amount of rain that we had, where she'd landed, that would have been probably a river that she'd have been in, and the chances are she could have drowned as well. So she was very lucky.